Tom Cloud with my bi-monthly precious metals market update. Let's jump right into it. Here we are on Wednesday morning as I film this, and we're seeing gold over eighteen sixty, and silver over twenty five dollars. Silver's up seventy five cents today, and gold's up thirty four dollars. And you say why? Well, we know the CPI figures came out this morning. They're the highest since nineteen ninety. 31 years uh, since we've seen CPI over 5%, and we're on an annualized rate now of 6.2%. And in reality, uh, some people are saying it's going to get worse all the way out to March. Others are saying it could peak out. But uh, I talked to restaurant owners that, clients of mine, that are telling me they've seen 25% hikes this calendar year in beef, and it's even going higher and 70% in scallops, uh, and the price, of course, is going to get pushed on to the to the consumers, always going to be the one that gets the price pushed on. So certainly we're just continuing to prove that we're printing money at rates that have never been seen in the history of the United States of America, and this administration wants to push them faster. They want to create a false environment and an economy that's not real. You can print $3 trillion and make the economy look any way you want. But who's going to pay for the debt? Certainly not me. My children, my grandchildren may be the ones that have to pay for this horrendous inflation rate that is not only coming, it's already here. It's the worst we've seen in 31 years. And this has been going on for months. And hopefully and prayerfully, each of you have been doing something about it getting your money out of things that are printed that's a evidence of debt with nothing behind it that's real. So you look at it. So where next question is what uh, from you, the listener, is the rate is now 75 to 1. Wow, it was 123 to 1 a year, year ago. Now we've seen silver outperforming gold, so the ratio now is only – Gold is 75 times more valuable than silver. It was 123 times more valuable. But we're seeing this run in silver. Now, as it's more evidence, we're probably not going to have a recession. It doesn't mean we're not for sure. But it's more likely now that this administration will print money and do anything they can to stay out of recession and to grow the economy with printed money and not earned money, not the way it used to be, the old-fashioned way. You earn it, you don't print it. So we look at that, and then the other thing that I've talked about several times on here, and a great question from a listener, is when is all this money, the central bank, uh, gold the central banks are buying uh, through the Basel Three? when's it going to kick in? Well, it has kicked in. Go back and look at gold in June, in the 1400s, now we're up 1800s, uh, 1860 this morning, and it's going to keep going up. Yes, there'll be volatility. It's not going to go straight up. There are times that not just the people that are used to uh, creating uh, money or more ownership and go by using the futures market and running it up and down, and when it goes down, it's not real. They purchase sil silver and gold at, at below the real market. So yes, well, central banks are buying at record rates. They're going to continue to buy. They don't want to be holding debt, especially U.S. debt. And I'll get to that on the next question. But what we're looking at now is the gold-silver ratio that could go to 60 or 65. If you saw uh, silver get up to us say 30, and then at 60 times that, that's that's where gold is now. So it, uh, it just come down a little bit. But anyway, I'm telling you, you want to get your gold and your silver, and you want to get it, in my opinion, between now and March. I do think the first part of the year, we'll see strong up move in both gold and silver. But the other question that uh, dovetails this is the answer says, I track every day the U.S. dollar. You talk about it, others talk about it, I read about it, and everybody says the magic number is 92. 
when the dollar hits 92 on the world index, it falls. We've already seen it come from 123 all the way down today to 9460. It was down to 9280. So that is because people now are worried about the stock market. They're pulling money out and they're moving it to safety, what they call safety, U.S. Treasuries. And it's caused uh, the dollar to go up in value rather than down. But you've also seen the, the, the stock market is starting to see just in the last two or three days resistance, uh, slightly falling prices, with some people predicting a 10% drop between now and the end of the year. But it's all controlled by who owns the debt. We've got $29 trillion in debt that we are borrowing to run this country. And that of that 29 trillion, somewhere between eight and nine belongs to the Chinese and the Japanese. Russians own our debt. All they gotta do is liquidate their, their, their 30 year bonds, their 10 year bonds, their five year notes, one year uh, bonds and notes. And next thing you know, is interest rates are going straight up. The economy then goes into recession and then the stock market goes down. Interest rates go up because you got to pay more because of all the liquidation the Japanese and Chinese will do. They're not, it's not if, it's when. When do they decide they've had enough of us in our debt frenzy living way above our standards that the whole country is and the wealthy gets wealthier. Middle class is not doing so well. And all the lies of this administration, whether you like them, love them, or hate them, the, there's a lot of stuff they said they would do they haven't done that's affected prices dr dramatically. So what we've looked at today is CPI at all top 31 year highs, annualized at 6.2%, gold silver ratio at 75 to one down from 123 and headed lowers, we think, on the short term. But I still would be buying gold because when the we go to a gold back currency, and there will be probably in the next year or two, or definitely while Biden is president, if he makes it to the end of his administration, you're going to see the things go down, down, down. So then the dollar value we've looked at has gone up right now. But when it gets back down below 92 and breaks, that's when every 1% that that gold and silver, I mean, that that dollar index goes down, gold and silver will go up 4%, 4%. And we expect it to go all the way to 72 on the index before it finds a bottom after it wastes through all this creating money, liquidation of debt, replacement of debt, and all that that we see coming. And uh, I still love palladium, uh, platinum. Uh, I think you're going to see a lot higher platinum prices. We've seen over a $300 an ounce jump about 30% from the bottom a few few months ago. And I still think you should be buying uh, that to mix with your gold and silver mix. So hopefully we've talked about things that are important. Uh, I'm as bullish as I've ever been in 46 years of doing this. And I appreciate the kind remarks, and I, I, I still enjoy doing this, and I plan on doing this for a long time. I just don't work in the office as much as I used to, uh, spend more time out, but I'm still working. I'm still doing a lot of work. And, of course, the Diamond Project, you, you probably uh, know what's going on with us there. Uh, and that's, that's growing through my tutelage and uh, marketing with that. So it's real exciting, but watch for that. And lastly, when you hear the word digital currency in the U.S., you better run. Because when it comes to that, there's going to be a huge depreciation. Uh, they, they may call it the dollar. They may call it something else. But it'll be a digital currency, and it'll have about a 20, 15, 20, 25 percent pad put in for the government to spend outside for emergencies that you'll never know. But what anything you've got left that's not in a hard asset, gold, silver, diamonds, platinum, certain real estate, certain art, if you don't have in those things, 
you are going to get a hard hit because you sit around looking at money sitting in your bank account. And then if all this IRS stuff goes through that Biden's talking about and having uh, $80 billion a year given to IRS agents to monitor your bank account and give them information on every time you spend whatever it is, $600 or $10,000, whatever it ends up being, is still a complete, complete invasion of your privacy. So this is the most important time that I've been in business for wealth transfer that you're going to see toward hard assets. You can reach us at 800-247-2812. 800-247-2812. And Dan Scoggins can help you. He's been with me 25 plus years. And he's the head trader now. And he'll help you. Everybody that deals with Dan loves dealing with him. We uh, ask you to do, to do the same. With this uh, bi-monthly market update, this is Tom Cloud signing out. Thank you.